have we learned about drug resistance as it relates to non-small cell lung cancer? Are there any new developments in that area? Yeah, obviously depends of the, the um, as, as I just comment, we have different uh, patients with different needs and different scenarios. So we are now fragmenting a lot of the disease and we have actually different disease in one big disease that is the lung cancer. So not, we are treating patients in different way. And some patients have, for example, patients who are under treatment with um, targeted therapies, they can develop mechanisms of resistance that we can nowadays not only identify, but also treat. So we can treat and change the, the recurrence partner of these patients. One of the tools that we are using for that is uh, liquid biopsy, for example, that is this blow draw that we are doing for the patients. And actually we are trying to do this uh, determination from the very beginning and also monitoring the patients after we have this information to see if we are able to determine the mechanism of resistance see also the outcomes of some of the therapies and change the treatment when it's necessary. In immunotherapy, we have also patients that are resistance or refractory. That is another uh, way of definition. So refractory, we say patients that are not responding uh, during the treatment and resistance are patients that also include patients that are uh, after the treatment having a progression uh, in very short time. So we need to to identify these two categories and try to, to, to treat them in different ways. But we have our momentarium for that as well. Mm -hmm.